Vance and short shots. <coughs> Don't know if you can see, but they scratch quite easily. Got the forward mounts, getting used to them. I've only just, I've managed to avoid grinding out uh, because I don't like it. In actual fact, because of the way my feet are, I'm more likely, more often, ground out my boots. Um, so I've had to put a tack disc, tax disc on. UK, we don't have to have tasks, tasks disc now, but on the other man, we do. Uh, Screaming Eagle air filter. That's my drift remote control so it can turn on both my cameras on my crash helmet and my one now on the handlebars uh, at the same time. Should make editing easier. This is my TomTom -tom setup. I've run the wire down through there into the battery. Um, and I can lock the TomTom -tom on if I'm using it so that if I stop at a petrol station it can't be stolen. So like that now, just twist, it doesn't undo and equally I can lock that bit. That's my Senna remote control but I don't use my Senna very much. So there's my little drift stealth. I'm puzzling over why it's only on two minutes but hey ho. Um, and now, this is my new rack that I've had put on. So it had the dual seat, only a little pad here. I've swapped it to the Mustang wide tripper, which is so comfy, it's brilliant. And I stick to it, whereas the genuine Harley seat, I used to slide about a bit on it. So this rack is great, and I haven't got it with me, but also a seat will clip on there with a sissy bar for when I take my lad on it, which I have now done. Um, right, I've also had these clever mirrors put on. So if I switch it on um, and put the indicators on. So if I put this one on, there, you can see it flashing. So it removed the indicators from under here. However, when I had the warranty, no, not the warranty, the first service done at about 890 miles. It should have been a 1,000, but hey, what are you going to do? Um, they noticed, and I hadn't noticed it because obviously they're in front of me, but if I turn this one on, nothing happens. So these brand new that I had fitted when I bought the bike, this one's already failed. It was, and before anyone says, oh, it's just an electrical problem down here somewhere, one of these wires. It was actually, when they showed me, lighting up just a couple of LEDs up here. Now it's not working whatsoever. So it was getting power, but it's it's now... F so anyway, under warranty, they're replacing the uh, mirrors. Which is quite good, but that one's got scratched, I don't know. Harley Paintworks, shoddy. Now that leads me on to the next thing. This denim black. Scratches really, really easy. However, I don't know if it'll pick it up on my camera. Where I had the dual seat and it was rubbing on the paint, that has now gone smooth. And you can just see a line here, there, where there was a, uh, there was a foam pad, another foam pad there. So this is still rough, denim black, but this has gone smooth. So, and that's scratched up again by the seat. So the whole idea of a Harley is you can customise them. And that's what I said to the dealer. I said, look, you know, the whole principle of a Harley is you can customise them. Surely I should be able to take off the seat and put a single seat on and the paintwork on the fender doesn't look shoddy or shit. Um, so anyway, they tried their best to get Harley to replace the fender or respray or do something. Um, but Harley have come back and said that that's general wear and tear. So I don't actually know what I'm going to do. I might have to now polish the rest of this to get rid of the 
just to match in with the where it's rubbed which I think is crap um, the other alternative is I may well um, just bin the denim black and get a an airbrush spray job done on it something to do with Pink Floyd um, make it individual that way so that's it I think um, what have I got left to do like I say I'm just coming up to about a thousand miles I do want to put the number plate probably on the side I want to get rid of these indicators I've made the effort of getting rid of the indicators at the front now I want to get rid of these I hate them they're flipping ugly so I want to get rid of them and it, whether I have some little hidden LEDs under here or something then that would be perfect or even mini indicators there um, other than that what else is there to do uh, it needs a clean <laughs> that's got to be a priority um, other than that I want to get rid of as much as the chrome as possible I want flush mount here these two I want them flush mount I may well wrap the exhaust because it scratches so easy um, wrap it with that cloth stuff um, I'd like to change all the bolts to black uh, and I want to change the rear shock to pro a progressive item and get the front forks redone. I love the handlebars, nothing needs doing there. Um, tires, I'm actually getting right over quite good. Back doesn't go over so far. Mind you, the chicken strip isn't uh, too chicken. Um, and look, so I couldn't lean it over anymore without grounding out the pegs. Um, oh, and the other thing is, I do need to extend this bit. Because with that air filter, I have to bend my foot around to use the rear brake. So at the moment, I don't use the rear brake very much. Unless I'm crapping myself. And then I will uh, dislocate my ankle just to uh, brake harder. But other than that, it is an absolute awesome bike i love it i love riding it totally happy with it feel perfectly safe with it i can tootle around nice and slow um, and equally i can go relatively nuts for what is a harley um so yeah i've got to go back and get the in the mirrors swapped at some point um and other than that, after the first service, it just seems to be running so, so, so much more um, smoothly. So, yeah, there you go. Harley Davidson, Street Bob. I will now sign off while I have a vape.